Image recognition is a crucial aspect of each FTC Autonomous. In each year's game, there is always something that requires a form of image recognition. In Skystone, it was a block pattern, and this year in Ultimate Goal, it is detecting a stack of rings. Over the past two years of using FTC's image recognition model, we noticed that it wasn't always accurate. After conducting some more research, we found that FTC's model's accuracy was only 80%. This is due to the fact that the FTC model aims to create a model that all teams can use. In their aim to encompass all camera angles in their training, the model loses out on accuracy. To solve the issue and make our detection more reliable, we searched for methods to create our own custom model. There's already some great tutorials out there which we've linked in the description below. However, we found them to be too consuming to train. In our search for other alternatives, we stumbled across Google's Teachable Machine. Teachable Machine is an easy way to create image recognition models without any coding knowledge. Teachable Machine create models based on sound, video, and images. For our custom model, we use images. We can then define three classes, so A, B, and C. These are the labels. Plugging in our camera directly from the robot into our laptop, we can start taking pictures for each class. To create a good model, try to have at least 300 images for each class. The more images you have, the better training your model will be. To make sure our model is accurate in all scenarios, we can tilt the camera and introduce different lighting. Once we're done capturing our images, we can hit the train button. After the model is trained, it is a good idea to go ahead and save your project so that you can build upon your dataset later if you wish to retrain the model. You can even test the model in the browser like this. After making sure your model works to your satisfaction, you can export your model as a T-Flight floating point model. This is the same file format as the model FTC provides. We cannot use this model with the TF object detector implementation that FTC provides. FTC's implementation can only utilize a single shot detection model. The tutorial we linked in the description shows how you can create this model. To use the model that Teachable Machines makes, we created our own detector class, which is based on Google's implementation. You can view our implementation and what dependencies are required in a link to a repository in the description of below. After building the detector class, we tested it out in an op mode similar to FTC's example. The detection worked 99% worked of the time and confidently determined which zone the ring stack corresponded to. The detector was also flexible. A hand or a robot could be in the background and it would still detect accurately. Although the detector is fast, we wanted to be able to start autonomous immediately. So we decided to have a detection run on a thread during init. Through analyzation, the camera is constantly detecting what is in front of it through randomization. Once we hit play, the detector takes the last value and goes to that zone. Through our unique de detection method, we've developed an easy way for any team to create their own custom model and implement it without any additional programming knowledge. This model is easily restrainable, fast, and accurate. If you have any questions or ideas on ways to improve this method, feel free to add them in the comments below.